can you solve this Olympiad trigonometry problem? We have the sum of consecutive sine squared. The sine squared of 10 plus 20 plus 30, so on, so on, until the sine squared of 90 degrees. But before we can try this problem, we have to recall two important trigonometric identities. And I'm going to show you both of them right here very quickly using this right triangle. Okay, first one, look that the sine of alpha is equal to b over c, and the cosine of beta right here in this triangle is also b over c. What is special about alpha and beta? They are both complementary angles. They add up to 90 degrees. That means that the sine of alpha is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha. The sine of any angle is equal to the cosine of its complement. Very important. The second one is the very famous Pythagorean identity. If you haven't heard this before, I'm going to quickly show you and you'll understand why it's called the Pythagorean identity. Look that the sine squared of alpha plus the cos cosine squared of the same angle alpha, that's going to be b over c squared plus a over c squared right here. You can see that using the triangle. That's equal to b squared plus a squared over c squared. But remember, this is the right triangle. b squared plus a squared is equal to c squared by the Pythagorean theorem. That means we get c squared over c squared, which is 1. The sine squared of any angle plus the cosine squared of that angle is equal to 1. And now this problem should be really easy. Let's look at it from like two sides here. Let's say you have the sine squared of 10 degrees plus the sine squared of 80 degrees. That is hidden inside this sum. It's from opposite sides of this sum. Okay? Now remember, using our complementary identity, that the sine squared of 10 degrees is equal to the cosine, doesn't matter, squared it or not, the cosine of its complement. So 90 minus 10. And look at that. That's just 80. Now we plug this back into here. We get that the cosine squared of 80 degrees plus the sine squared of 80 degrees, what is that equal to? Same angle, sine and cosine squared, that's equal to 1. And so we quickly repeat this process for all other angles. We get the angle of 20 and 70, summed is equal to 1. Then we get the sum of sine of 30 and 60 degrees is equal to 1. They're all complementary angles. Note that again, then 40 and 50 is equal to 1. And so we are left with just one more angle, which is, of course, the sine squared of 90. Sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. And so adding all of them together is equal to 5. So this sum is just equal to 5. 